Hello YouTube, this is Scraps from Griffin Mods, and this is the Nerf Elite Rough Cut. I'm very excited to be reviewing this for you, so let's get right to it. On the bottom of the box it says Rough Cut 2x4. Over here it advertises the 75 foot Elite Ranges. At the top it has the new slogan Multi-Shot Madness and says it blasts two darts at once. On the back of the box we have advertisements for The Rampage, The Retaliator, and The Strife. Over here it says it has elite features that can fire two darts at once and gets up to 75 foot ranges. Here we have a front view of the blaster and it says that you can fire eight rounds without reloading which is great. Here it talks about the pump action slam fire and then at the top obviously the tactical rail. I really wish they would have packaged this blaster with an ammo rack like the barrel break. It seems like it would make perfect sense but hey what can you do. Inside the box It appears we have a simple cardboard shell. Here you have your instructions, your basic blaster, and your elite darts. Right. As far as the size of the blaster, it has almost an identical profile to the barrel break. The grip on the rough cut is a little bit longer, it's very comfortable, and they seem to have almost an identical trigger and trigger guard design. However, the rough cut is a great deal lighter than the barrel break, and it seems like it would be extremely easy to wield. It has an attachment point here on the bottom of the grip, the Nerf Elite emblem here, and then it has a secondary attachment point here at the top. Um, also, it is very, very thin. Uh, it's a little bit thicker here at the top to accommodate for the dual plunger tubes, but the rest of the body is much thinner than I thought it would be. This is the new shotgun style priming grip, um, which I was quite interested in. And I don't have very large hands, but I find this grip to be quite uncomfortable. So I would imagine if you had larger hands, you may find this grip to be extremely uncomfortable. Um, while we're talking about that, we'll talk about the priming of this blaster. The slam fire blasters in the, in the past have operated on a rod priming system, whereas the rod uh, pushes the plungers. However, in this one, it seems to operate on a gear system. If you look closely there, you may be able to see a couple of the gears, and you can definitely feel them as you're priming the blaster. It doesn't feel quite as smooth, um, but we'll have to see how that works out in actual usage. Up here at the top, you have dual priming indicators for each of the plunger tubes, and those correlate to the two-stage trigger, which allow you to fire both tubes at the same time by a full pull of the trigger, or you can pull it halfway to fire a single plunger tube and the rest of the way to fire the other one. Unfortunately, two of the primary features of the rough cut, the slam fire and the select fire, have both proven to be a little bit finicky. However, after playing with it for a while, I've figured out tricks to each of them. With the select fire, I was having some issues getting the barrels to fire independently on a consistent basis. And what I discovered the trick was, is to wrap your finger around the trigger a little bit further than you normally would, and instead of pulling straight back, pull back at a slightly upward angle. Initially, the slam fire did not seem smooth at all. I figured out the trick is to have your finger in the center of the trigger and to squeeze it very, very tightly while making sure you go through the full range of motion forward and back on the priming mechanism. One of the Rough Cut's coolest features is its new Intelligent AR system. The Intelligent AR system allows it to detect which of the barrels have darts in it and which don't. Normally the darts will fire in a specific sequence, and with the Intelligent AR system, it can detect if there's a dart missing in that sequence, and it'll move to the next barrel instead. Normally the darts will fire like this. And because of the Intelligent AR system, if you are speed loading in the heat of battle or for some reason you simply don't have all your barrels full, the Intelligent AR system will make sure that you fire an active barrel every time. It's also worth pointing out that the rough cut features the same extended barrel posts as all the other new Elite Blasters, making it unable to effectively fire streamlines. For the firing test, I'm going to fire a few shots independently, and then I'm going to fire a couple together to test the accuracy of firing both darts at the same time. So 
So there you go. The dart performance is very much on par with the rest of the Elite Blasters, uh, which will translate to similar ranges of 45 to 55 feet flat and 75 feet angled. And the accuracy for both darts being fired at the same time was actually remarkably good. On both shots, both of the darts hit right next to each other, uh, which is a great sign. Something else to point out about the rough cut, because of the way the slam fire operates, it would be an excellent candidate for integration. You wouldn't have to link the triggers at all, you would just have to make sure the trigger on the rough cut is wide open, and you could fire it by simply operating the priming mechanism. My final verdict on the rough cut, while the select fire and the slam fire features could be a little more polished, I do very much like this blaster. Its power and its rate of fire would make it an excellent secondary, and it's a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, I think that's about it, so this has been Scraps from Griffin Mods. If you liked the video, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.